Hey everybody. Good um, good morning. Um, this is Divine Empress 71. Back again to do another quick reading. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Um, I hope you all are doing well. So um, I had did some uh, shuffling, um, some pre-shuffling as well. Um, so this is what come out. Um, so what we have here, I started out with, with the Kipper deck, uh, just to kind of get a feel of a little bit of overall energy. So, um, I, I, I got Mature Man is here, Mature Man. Um, I have Marriage. I have marriage and I have false person is here. Okay. So, uh, and I pulled out two tarot cards and the world card came out. Um, earth energy. And then we have the magician in reverse. So, uh, it looks like, so I, I, I'm, this could, this could be a past person for some of y'all. Um, but it looks like you was dealing with somebody who was, uh, possibly narcissistic, um, with this magician in reverse coming out, with false person coming out, um, but you are with this world card you may have completed a, a cycle with this person um so you would so this person it, it, you were dealing with somebody who was narcissistic insecure manipulative mm. this is somebody who lacks confidence but with this <laughs> but with this marriage card here I don't know if this person might have been married uh, at the time that you dealt with them collective or uh, maybe you were married or maybe this is what this person may want with you, okay? So I did pull out some intuitive messages um, from directly from this person to you. And the first one what is my ego got in the way or my ego is in the way. So, yeah, this person has, has ego issues. Uh, um, I want your attention. So, this person wants your attention. So, um, I wonder, so did this pretty much tells me this must be a past person. It's got to be. I miss you more than I have been showing. Okay. He's so... It was easy. It was easy to pretend with others, but not with you. So this person, like, well, yet uh, um, once again, you were dealing with a false person. Could have been, could have been an old person, a mature person. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be. You know, you just let it fit where it fits for you. Um, but. Um, this person was fake. Um, they basically, they wore a mask. They pretended, um, uh, to be something that they wasn't. This is somebody who hid behind their feelings. You, uh, you, you didn't, you probably didn't know where you stood with them as well. We also have pride and ego is here. So you, uh, this person has a lot of ego issues, pride, um, but this person, this is their higher self admitting that they are heartbroken and they need to heal. Now, this person probably won't never tell you. Excuse me. This person probably won't never tell you that collective. I'm just, you know, just being honest. <laughs> With all this other stuff out here, they probably won't never tell you that. They have trust issues as well. Uh, you may have picked up on that when you were dealing with this person, that this person has trust issues. And that, that has, and, uh, they're, um, 
that also falls in the line that they are, you know, that falls right in with their insecurity issues as well. And they are saying that it's not you, it's me. So whatever happened with this connection, their higher self is saying, it, their higher self is actually admitting that they were the one that more than likely sabotaged this connection. And but they are waiting on you to reach out. So this is that pride and ego kicking in. They feel like you should be contacting them first rather than them contacting you. So let's see what other messages comes out. I'm sorry. I'm still undecided. Oh, wow. Okay. So this person, um, so you were probably dealing with a runner, I'm hearing. Um, this is somebody who was very uh, indecisive. They didn't know what they wanted. I'm hearing that uh, this is somebody that wanted their cake and eat it too. Hmm. So they were more likely dealing with you and other people. That's possible. With this undecided being here. But then here they're saying that they are ready for a commitment. But yet they are undecided. That don't that don't make any sense. Mm. Make that make sense. I don't know. Okay. Um, it bothers me that you are no longer available. Yeah. This person is in their feelings because basically what you did collected, you cut them off. That's basically what you did. You walked away, you cut them off. And they are in their feelings about it. I still love you. And I'll never stop. So this person is still saying that they they still love you. but And they'll never stop. But see, this person, for some of y'all, this person never told you how they felt about you. They never told you that they had feelings for you. I'm hearing that you never knew where you stood with this person. I ghosted you because I didn't know what I wanted at the time. See, I told you, you were dealing with a runner. Yeah, they ghosted because they didn't know what they wanted at the time. So this is a past person for some of y'all, for most of y'all. This is somebody from the past. Keeping tabs on you is here. So they are watching you. They could be watching you through social media. Um, if they have any ties to, to your family or friend circle, uh, they could be uh, asking about you, possibly. Could be watching you from afar. My soul remembers you. So you guys knew each other from a past life. Here. Hmm. And then they say that I pleasure myself while thinking of you. Okay. <laughs> so you got, to, okay. All right. We ain't going to get in too deep into that. But this person thinks about you, basically. They want you to forgive them as well, collective. Please forgive me. Um. This person, uh, with all this being here, this this thinking of you wanting forgiveness, all this kind of stuff. This person wants you. To, this person wants to come back your way. They want to reconcile something with you, but 
they want you to reach out first. Yeah, they want you to reach out first. It feels like it feels like home whenever I'm with you. So, um, yeah. So the, I did. This is telling me that this person was really happy when they were with me. They were probably their happiest when they were with me, collecting. Mm. I question if I'm in love or is it just lust. So this person is um, basically going back and forth in their head. They're stuck in their head trying to weigh out whether they are in love with you or is it just lust. Because mm. it could, uh, well, it could be a little bit of both. Possibly. I know I messed everything up. So their their higher self is admitting that they sabotaged this con this connection here. I'm gonna shuffle these again. Please forgive me for hurting you. This is this person's higher self talking. So they they take accountability. Now their higher self is taking accountability for what they have done. To you in this connection, collective. But their low vibrational, their low vibrational, narcissistic, egotistical side. No, not so much there. They are not going to take accountability. That's you know, um, and also with this waiting for you to reach out. That's that's the lower vibrational side of them. There were others in the way of our connection. Um, so, if there were others in the way of this connection, so that means that there was some third party in interference here. Could have been other lovers, family, friends. Um, this person could have been listening to, you know, other people about you, about the connection, you know, uh, which could have a lot to do with uh, why they sabotage this connection as well. I have so much for I have so much for how I okay. I have so much regret for how I treated you. Okay. Okay. That's what this what I was meant to put in this card. I have so much regret for how I treated you. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so this person is in regret, but like I said, a lot of these messages are, you know, are coming from the higher, uh, the higher uh, side of this person. The higher self. That smile of yours drives me crazy. So this, this, so this tells me that this person finds you at, uh, extremely attractive here um i uh i'm leaving a karmic connection behind so they are leaving a a karmic connection behind they are uh probably wanting to or was um um wanting to leave this behind with this other person so they can come towards you but they also understand too that see they don't know because I know for some of y'all this has been a while for some of y'all this could be this could have been for some of y'all it's been more than a year since the last time you spoke to this person so this person don't doesn't know how to come towards you uh, that's why they want they are wanting you to reach out first they don't know what they are going to be getting from you as far as reaction rejection some of y'all and even if this person did reach out to you some of you guys won't even pick up the phone if they text you you probably won't respond you see what I'm saying <sighs> caught up they got caught up in a uh, in a in a uh, in a toxic connection and they were and so they were 
dealing with karma. Karma. They were getting their karma handed back to them through this other person from the, uh, because of what they did to you. See, what they did to you, they got it back tenfold from somebody else. My, my, my. We reap what we sow, don't we, collective? Hmm? We reap what we sow. And they are, they may be focusing on their money right now. They may be having some money issues too, which could be part of their karma as well. Uh, I, I was in denial about our connection. So they, they are saying that they were, they were in denial about, they, basically they were in denial about their feelings. That's what that was. They were in denial about their feelings. They hid their feelings. And probably for a long time, they, it, it was, you know, they probably told themselves, oh, you know, it was just lust, you know, because for some of y'all, this connection was pure sexual. It was a sexual connection. So they probably looked at it like, you know, I can't possibly be in love, in love with this person because, see, um, I'm picking up that this, this person was a player, too. They were a runner. They, and they, all, you know, um, they, they had some other options. So they probably looked at you as just, for some of y'all, you were looked at as just another option. Mm. So when they started getting these feelings, they probably just kind of like, you know, like dismissed it. Like, nah, I, I can't be having feelings for, for a collective. It's got to be just pure lust. It can't be nothing else, you know, because they never felt that way about all the others that they had been dealing with, see. Yep, and I was right. Um, money struggles is here. Yeah, so they having some money issues. <laughs> yeah, they have some money issues. It's part of their karma. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Let me, I'm going to accept for these again. I have so much regret for losing my chance with you. Yeah. So they are in regret because they dropped the ball. They dropped the ball on... Um, on probably what was probably the best connection they probably ever had was when they were dealing with you, collective. Because because I'm picking up that some of you are very um. You know, you. You are just an overall good person, and you show this person a lot of love. A lot of love here. But this person took you for granted. Now they're saying that they need to talk to you. They want to talk now. This see, so yes, they do want to come back towards you. That's no doubt. I mean, no lie. That's no doubt. They want to come back towards you, but they, you know, what I'm saying, but that ego and that pride, they playing these little mind games. So they want to see if you're going to reach out and call them, but but most of you are not going to do that. Some of you may have, some of you probably will, but a, but a lot of you won't. Mm -hmm. Because I'm hearing that you gave this person multiple chances. You gave this person multiple chances. I have to be in control over all of my relationships. Yeah, because this person was narcissistic. Yeah, this is this this person was manipulative. Love to control, you know. It was all about control. I'm hearing that they didn't. Um, it was it was something about you, collective. You didn't have no problem with checking this person. That's one thing they didn't they didn't like about you. 
Another thing they didn't like about you is the fact that you are, a lot of you guys are highly independent too. This person uh, likes codependent relationships. With those relationships, that gives them control. But a lot of you guys, you you wasn't you didn't you didn't you didn't fall in that in that category like that. You um you spoke your mind with this person. Some of you did. Mm hmm This person somewhat low key resented you for that. Mm hmm Cause they couldn't have control with you like they could others. I love you even if I don't say it. This person has never told, or a lot of you, this person has, has never told you that they love you. That's why you never knew where you stood with them. But deep down, they had feelings, but they just never would show it. Or, you know, or say, you know, how they felt. I know that I'm not... I know that I am not a good communicator. Yeah, so this person knows that they don't communicate well. This is this is also somebody um, who likes to um, play play the silent treatment. You know, uh, so um, so if you uh, express yourself, let them know where they were wrong, spoke your mind, or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Um, uh, this person would just ghost. They'll just stop talking to you. Mm -hmm. They would just stop talking to you. Uh, this person also, I'm hearing, had a um, they had what the, they had a hot and cold energy about them as well. Kind of, you know, very uh, very on and off, uh, kind of. I'm afraid that you will find someone else. This is another thing that bothers them. Some of you are already with somebody else. Some of you really not focusing on love. You're just focusing on your stability, your money. Some of you may have gone back to school. You know, some of you um, looking to buy, you know, buy a home. Probably may have just closed on a home. You know, some of y'all are focusing on other things. You're not really... Focusing on love right now. But this person is definitely afraid that someone better is going to come along if they haven't already. Keeping, keeping my options open is here. So as I said er earlier, this is somebody who explored their options. Yeah. And and you, at you know, at the time that you were dealing with them, they looked at you as just another option. I think about you. Oh, Lord. Uh -huh. I think about you way too damn much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So you are on this person's mind. You are on this person's mind quite a bit. Quite a bit. There is or was someone else. See, I told you, collective. They were dealing with other people. And and this karmic lover that they got involved with, that they chose to invest in rather than investing in you, they made them regret losing you. I thought you, yeah, see, I thought you were like the others. This person thought that you were like everybody else. All the everybody else that they were dealing with. You know. And then they say, I um I typed a text to you, but then I delete it. <laughs> so this person is texting. They they go on in their phone, they're texting, but they want to send you the message, but they'll chicken out and delete the message. And then another thing they're doing is they are reading old text messages. They like to read old text messages sometimes. I mean, this this is just how heavy you have been on this person's mind, Collector. I wasn't trying to fall in love. Right. That's what I was saying earlier. They, they, they were not. 
that's why they was they the uh, uh, trying to tell themselves, oh, oh, it wasn't love that I have that I had for the collective. That I it, it, it that couldn't been been you know that couldn't have been nothing but lust. You know that's at least that's what they were trying to tell themselves. <laughs> Holding back was a big mistake. Yeah. So yeah, they held back from you. I'm also hearing breadcrumbs for some of y'all. This person um, didn't really give much in, into this connection really at all. They didn't. Mm. This person is, is a damaged soul. So this person is damaged. This person has a lot of baggage from childhood, from things that happened to them in the past. They have never gotten over whatever happened to them. I'm hearing childhood trauma for some of them. Some of, some of them had a very um, poor upbringing, like they struggled financially. I mean, I'm talking about poverty. This, this person, may have grown up in extreme poverty. So because of that, they had developed a, a selfish, um, opportunist type of um, way about them. They, because this is somebody, you know, they, they, they are selfish. They, they, I mean, you can see this throughout the reading. They were all about self. Um, this person, um, every connection that they were getting in, it was like, you know, let me see what I can get out of this, you know, type of vibe, you know, this, this was how they operated. They operated like this with everybody. If, you know, you know, yeah, I know collective is a good person, but what's what's in it for me what you know what can i get out of this type of you know it was like uh because of their upbringing their upbringing was toxic uh there was some extreme poverty there but and that has a lot to do with why they have this greedy they they're greedy they they um have this mindset they, they're it's like you know, um, it's like a uh, survival mode, I guess you can say, with every relationship that they get into. I'm trying to explain it the best, best I could. Holding on to the past, struggling to let go. Yes, this person is still holding on to the past. That is obvious in this reading. This person is holding on to the past. They are holding on to your energy. Holding on to your memory. Whew. Then we have intuition is here. See, intuitive, this person knew that you were the one. They did. But they did not listen to that intuition. See, spirit was nudging on this person. Saying, this is your person. Collective is your person. This is the person that the divine is trying to bless you with. This is your person. But this but this person ignored their intuition. No one else could see through my mask but you. Yeah. That's why I was saying earlier that a lot of you guys, you know, some of you guys didn't have no didn't have a problem with checking this person. Telling this person about themselves, you told this person about their ways and that you didn't like their ways. You know, and 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 whenever you would do that, this person would back off from you. They'll ghost you, they'll uh give you the silent treatment, like you know, like they trying to punish you. You know, narcissistic people do that. And another reason why they do it too is a form of, of uh, manipulation and mind games where okay. If they go a few days without talking to you, 
uh, maybe a week without talking to you, then uh, you're going to come running, calling them, blowing up their phone and texting them. And, well, you know, why are you not talking to me? Why are you not texting me? I haven't heard from you in so many days. Uh, why are you, so, are you still mad at me? And all this kind of stuff. But see, some of you guys didn't fall for that. When this person fell back, you just say, okay, well, you can just stay your little narcissistic self right on over there. That's the, that's what that's what some of you guys did. And good for you. Good for you. There is so much going on in my life right now. Yeah, well, one of the things that is, is, is going on is uh, they are experiencing karma. And it might be a little bit it might be more extreme than we think it is as well, collective. They can never be you. Well, of course not. They found that out. Whoever this who it was they tried to replace you with, that person took them through pure hell. That person, whatever, it, all that they were getting from you, they didn't get it from this person. <laughs> they did not get it from this person. I miss our long conversations. Yeah, this person missed talking to you. I'm hearing too that um, you spoke life into this person too for some of y'all. Because some of you guys have that gift. Some of you guys have this gift about yourself where you can speak life into a person. You spoke to this person. You spoke to the king in this person or the queen in this person. This person fed off your energy so when you would build them up, they would take uh, that, your energy that you poured into them, get built up off of it, then go run to this karmic and, you know, and give them the energy that you gave. You know what I'm saying? Giving your energy to somebody else, basically. And for some of y'all, they saying that the karmic knows about you. So for some of y'all... The karmic may know about you guys. Um, this person may have pillow talked about you to this person. They could have talked to you. I mean, talked to that person about you. That's possible. The, and this person may have gone through this person's phone as well. That's, that's another way they know about you. They've probably seen your pictures. Through, through, you know, looking through their phone, through uh, this person's phone. I had to let you go. It wasn't for... Okay. I had to let you go. It wasn't a fair to continue to hold on. Okay. Um... This is really more your energy than more so of them. My, but now, if they're saying that they had to let you go because it wasn't fair to continue to hold on, they probably, well, for one thing, you had already let go for some of y'all. So this person just went on ahead and just say, okay, well, okay, if collective is done with me, then I'm not going to, you know, try to hold on. I'm not going to try to go back and try to reconcile with nothing, you know, with them right now. Cause I, you know, cause I knew that what I did to them wasn't fair anyway. So, uh, it wouldn't be right for them to keep trying to hold on cause I'm not going to be able to offer them the connection that they want. Whatever it is that they are desiring for, from me, I'm not going to be able to give that. So, my insecurities got the best of me. Yes, this person's very insecure. Because mm. that came out with the uh, the magician card being uh, in reverse. This person is insecure. Yeah, so they let their insecurities and their ego and listening to other people and whatever else sabotage something that was beautiful. I am not the vulnerable type. <laughs> I am not the vulnerable type. So this person does not like to be vulnerable. 
they feel this is somebody who feels like if I show if I show feelings uh, show my emotions that's going to make me feel or that's going to make me look weak it's been hard staying away from you this long yeah I bet it has because like I said you know this person wants to come toward you badly but their ego and their pride and everything won't let them do that so that's why they are gonna sit back and see for some of y'all if you are going to reach out first I talked with others about you yeah see and they could have that's what I was saying earlier they could have pillow talked as well to this karmic whoever the karmic was they could have pillow talked to them too oh wow <sighs> And they could have talked to their friends, maybe family, you know, who knows. I listen, you hear, see there? Come on, come through spirit. I listen to the wrong people. Bad advice. See, I told you. I told you. Hmm. They let other people put stuff in their head about this connection, about you. Friends and family hated on our connection. I just bet they did. Because... This person was talking about you and whatever else. And so, yeah. Friend, and then some of, as, as far as now, if if your family collected, uh, knew this person or was aware of y'all's connection, you may have had some family members didn't want to see you with this person because they felt like that this person was not good enough for you. They felt like that you could have did better. Mm -hmm. For some of y'all, I remember the last time we were together. So this person is, is reminiscing about when the last time they saw you, when the last time y'all talked. And they want to do better by you. They are some, well, with that being said, this is their this is their higher self saying that that they want to do do right by you they want to do better by you but also i'm hearing that they know that they're going to have to do better by you if they try to come back into your life or come towards you because they know intuitively they know that things have changed they know that stubborn <laughs> Yeah, um, this is this is also somebody who um, who uh, re refused to change their ways as well, and they don't like to be wrong. They will never admit that they are wrong. Never accept the fact that they were wrong. Hot and cold. I told you this. This I I mentioned this earlier person has a hot and cold energy, hot and cold side to them. I want to tell you my true feelings and I hope you feel the same. See, now this person <laughs> wants to come in and tell you how they really feel even though they are still yet indecisive. And they know things may have changed with you concerning them. No matter what happens, I hope that we will come together again one day. Yeah, so this is what this person is holding out, hoping for. That one day, you guys will reconnect. I watch you on social media, and I plan on contacting you. So, you know, for some of y'all, you know, you might get, a, you might get a, a message in your DM from this person. If they're watching you on social media, like Facebook or something. And they are saying that they are paying for their actions. They are paying for what they have done. And they have tried to replace you. But it didn't work. It didn't work, Collective. So we got some... <laughs> So we got somebody who is uh, 
they are in serious regret. They are, um, their higher self wants to come forward. But I feel that they are still operating in the lower self right now. That's why they, that's why they can't come forward. And spirit is more than likely keeping this person away from you as well. You are, this person is being blocked from you spiritually because of what they've done. And, and, and with narcissism being here, they, if they did come back, who's to say if they're coming back for the right reason? Now, that, now, that would be something you collective would have to discern. You would have to discern whether that person, um, is um you know coming back in for the right reason you know just discern the spirit and that you know in the energy that that person is going to be walking in when they come towards you you know that's that's the you know that's the best way to to do that so i'm gonna close this out with a energy oracle card here let's see Let's see. Spirit, I just need one card. One card for the collection. Oh, the thinking man. Number 46. Let's see here. All right, so we have the thinking man. The thinking man is here. Number 46, you could be 46 years old. Or the person that you could have been dealing with could have been 46. Or if it could have been an older person, 64 maybe. Okay, so the thinking man, uh, male of wisdom, or understanding now this is in the upright this card shows a man standing before an archway gazing at a crystal in his hand he is thoughtful and reflective man representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now or about to arrive soon okay um, this person may be there to educate you in the final details of your chosen direction or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental, or emotional pursuit. The card is telling you to pay attention for this, for this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth. This man may also be a love interest coming your way or perhaps just a new male friend but be on the lookout for this guy in the physical world and be open to his information learn what you can a new discipline technique course of study or healing practice could change your life forever okay so collective, it sounds like to me for some of y'all, some of y'all are going to have a very logical thinking person. Um, this man is going to come in for some of y'all, male or female, is going to come in and this this is going to be somebody who's, who probably can, may help catapult you to whatever your next level might be in life. This is somebody that's going to pour into you. This is going to be somebody that you're going to be able to grow with and grow from. This person is going to be coming to your life to add to you rather than take away. This person is going to, this person is going to build you. They are going to build you. They're going to add to your life. Okay. This person is going to come in as a blessing. Hands down, collective. All right. So that's all I have. 
that's all I have for you guys uh, for this reading. I hope that it resonates, you know. Um, just keep what does and let go of what doesn't. And um, and I, you know, and I pray that God bless you guys and keep you. And I will see you guys soon. All right? Bye-bye.